former President Jimmy Carter is offering to go to North Korea for peace talks. He's willing to do that. This is who Jimmy Carter is. He's 93 years old. Him and Truman are the only two presidents that did not go make money doing uh, sp speaking for big corporations after they left the White House. Jimmy Carter started Habitat for Humanity. This is who, this is who Jimmy Carter is. You might have some criticisms of him, but he could have made a lot of money and he chose not to. And of course, Trump and the White House are like, you know, Carter shouldn't say anything. He shouldn't meddle. But Jimmy Carter um, has said that that this is the most um, this most serious crisis the country is facing is a possible a second Korean War, and he's willing to like he he wants to do something about it. You know, in an opinion piece in the Washington Post last week, he described the North Korean situation as the most serious existential threat to world peace and implored Washington and Pyongyang to find a peaceful way to diffuse tensions and reach a lasting peaceful agreement. Carter said all the North Korean officials he had met, including former leader Kim Il-sung, had told him that all they wanted were direct talks with the U.S. to negotiate a peace treaty to replace the uneasy ceasefire reached at the end of the, the Korean War in 1953. They want that. They want it. Trump doesn't want it because he wants war. The war machine needs a ground war in Korea. It's awful. There's going to be a false flag. It's, that's why they're just like, oh, I, I, like how crazy of a world are we living in? Where a former president is like a former president is talking peace. And an active president is just war, war, war. I don't want to hear any peace talks. No one wants to say it. Not, our quote diplomats don't want to. Nobody wants to talk peace. It's so crazy. It just shows you how the corporate state is working. Carter's done this before. In 1994, during Bill Clinton's presidency, he persuaded Kim Il Sung to freeze his country's nuclear program in a deal that may have averted conflict with the U.S. In August 2010, he secured the release of. Uh, Alajan Gomes, an American who had been sentenced to eight years in prison for entering North Korea illegally. Right? So that's what a leader really looks like. And warmongers, corporate warmongers are a threat to us all. Trump is obviously one of them. His cabinet is one of them. There are plenty of corporate Democrats that are one of them, that, that are them, that are those types. So um, I hope Jimmy Carter's successful. Jimmy Carter's also the guy that put solar panels on the White House and then Reagan took them off. That's who Jimmy Carter is. Um, so you can make plenty of criticism about his White House, about his presidency, Jimmy Carter, but look what he's done since he got out of office. How many homes has he built with Habitat for Humanity? And he wants to negotiate peace because he sees how, how much of a threat it is. It's a threat to that region. It's a threat to the world to us to get into some kind of war. If we just keep poking and backing North Korea into a corner and they do set off a nuke, like what, what, is that, what does that benefit? Like the people that are in power, they don't care. You know they've already crunched like acceptable losses with the nuclear war. You know they have. Eh, acceptable losses. A couple million people? Well, we could survive that. They, you know that's how they think. These are dangerous, scary people and we need somebody like Jimmy Carter to get in there and do something. This little country wants to negotiate. Of course they want to negotiate peace. They know we could wipe them off the map. They know this. That's why they're saying we just want to have we just want to have talks and we don't even, we're not even willing to talk to them. Such a jackass presidency, such a bunch of idiots that won't listen to anything, don't listen to reason. They just want war because it's good for business. It's good for business. Trump wants to send your sons and daughters into a ground war in North Korea because it's good for him and his buddies. Doesn't care that they'll come home in flag drape coffins. Doesn't care that they'll come home with PTSD. Doesn't care that there's 22 vets a day 
killing themselves because of PTSD. He doesn't care that there's vets out there with prosthetic limbs. He doesn't care. He does not care about you. He does not care about your sons and daughters. He does not care about the families of military, the friends and family of those serving. He does not care. He is an arrogant, selfish, crazy jackass. And if the Democrats actually had real progressives in power, Trump never would have been president. The way the Democrats are going, he has a chance at winning a second term because they're not going to put a real pro progressive as their nominee in 2020. Watch what happens in 2018. They're going to get their asses kicked because they're going to, the DNC is going to back corporate Democrats. They're going to shun progressive Democrats and they're going to back corporate Democrats and they're going to get crushed. They're letting this happen. They're letting this madman in control. Come up with real progressive populist policy, Democratic Party. You would never lose. You would never lose. It's real simple. $15 an hour, universal health care, <laughs> free college tuition. All doable, all affordable. Endless wars. Ooh, we could end some wars. Look at that. All right, Jimmy. I hope you, I hope you can get over there and talk some peace before Trump blows it all up.